what kind of challenges do Cleveland or does Cleveland present? I mean, everybody knows they want to run the ball. They're a physical team. I think we're a physical team, so I mean, we're excited to play against them. But they got a good old line. Um, you know, they want to run the rock, so that's what we, that's our challenge this week. Stop the run. What confidence do you guys have in your run defense heading into this week? Uh, I mean, I, I see these boys work every single day, so I mean, I got a lot of confidence in them. I know we're going to step up to the challenge. And like we said, it's a big challenge. They're a really good run game, some great backs, so we're all excited and get ready for the challenge. How badly did you need that win in Seattle right to, for confidence or whatever? Because I mean, we need every win, but like I said, I mean, we're one we're one play away from, or two plays away from being 3-0 and and one play away from being 0-3. So, I mean, that's just how football works is, you know, that, I mean, you could be up one week, down the next week. So, we know if we built that confidence going in this week, and I mean, definitely needed it going to this challenge. How was it like to have the defense play finally a complete four quarters of football? It was good. You know, we I think not just defense, but offense and special teams, we all played together. I mean, in the first half, the offense was backing us up, you know, keeping us in the game. Enough time for us to figure it out and start getting some stops. So, I think this is the first time we saw all of our team come together, but, we, you know, we, there's things we could fix. How big was it for the unit to get that stop at crunch time? It was huge. I mean, like, I mean, just like I was asked before, like a confidence booster. You know, you get those stops. You know, it's something that you you believe in yourself. You know, we always believe in ourselves in this room. But when you start getting those stops, you know, it starts to becoming contagious. You know, turnovers are coming bunches. So, I mean, we had a lot of opportunities to get turnovers. We didn't capitalize on them. But at the end of the game, we were able to do enough to win the game. Yeah, I mean, I think we, we expected to win those games, you know, like regardless of what they said, we expected to be 3 now at this point. So it's just like it wasn't happening, it wasn't happening, and we just knew we had to get a breakthrough. So I think this is going to be a big for us and just building on that and start getting rolling. What can you say about CP Offensive Player, NFC Offensive Player of the Week? It's like he doesn't age. Oh, yeah. I mean, we knew CP's a dog. I mean, we knew he's going he's gonna to come out here and do that every week. I mean, that dude every, every Sunday, I mean, turns to a different guy. So, I mean, I'm excited to watch him just, like, I mean, as a young player, I've been watching CP forever. So, I'm excited to see him coming here and just, you know, get new miles from him. Hey, the pass rush numbers are up. Um, are you sensing that? With Taekwon's uh, got five hits, Brady's uh, got some sacks, Lorenzo. Are you sick? You all sensing the pass rush is trending up? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I've been here with, I've been blessed to be with you guys for a couple of years now, and uh, Lorenzo's new, but I've been with Grady for a while. Um, I mean, we know what these guys are capable of, and now it's coming to fruition. I mean, you see them out there working every single day, so when, you know, they get home, it just builds that confidence. You know, when you see a guy like that, the leader of our defense, and he makes those plays, it builds confidence for young guys to get ready, and like I said, we have a young defense, so, I mean, when we see guys like that in the cornerstone take off, I mean, it just builds everybody's confidence. What uh, what what stands out? <laughs> sorry about the sorry to switch topics. What stands out about this uh, this Browns team on tape? What stands out about their defense? Uh, obviously, you know they run the ball a lot. Uh, they're a physical team on both sides of the ball, and it's just you know we, it's a new week. We got to go ahead and get the win. Uh, Coach Smith referred to this game as a heavyweight fight. I mean, is that what it what it's shaping up to be in your eyes? And do you look forward to that kind of game? I mean, for me, every week is a heavyweight fight. I feel like you know you respect every team in the league, and you're going against great people, and it's just time to compete. Yeah, we've asked you a lot about, you know, your involvement in catches and all the things like that. Uh, how was last week for you, and how much are you looking forward to building off of that? I feel like it was pretty well. Um, I, I, like you said, just building off of it this week, trying to be better, and just go out there and get to win again. When you watched back, when you watched Sunday back, what did you see that maybe worked better for you on Sunday? Uh, I wouldn't say anything worked better or worse. I'd just say just the ball found me, and just I was doing my job. Kyle, how much was Sunday's win kind of a breath of fresh air for this team, considering you guys were really close in week one and week two? Do you feel like maybe a little bit of a weight is lifted? Um, I would say just not necessarily a weight is lifted because it's a long season. It's a lot of work to still be put in. Just, you know, just having that mindset, it's, it's the first of many, you know, in our opinion. So, you know, we're working to get them more. I know Coach, more, Coach Smith always hounds on not getting too wrapped up in the wins. How do you make sure that it's a confidence booster, but also you don't get too wrapped up in the fact that you finally get a win? Because now it's Wednesday, we have to worry about a new team, and we're not, you know, thinking about the high, uh, the good things or the bad things from last week. I mean, we watched it, but you know, we're still not thinking about that. We're on to the next team. Jake, it seems like the offensive line has been taking strides each and every week. Where can you pinpoint the success for you guys? Um, you know, really, I think it just comes with repetition and getting comfortable with each other. Um, you know, I feel like we're really executing the game plans we want to do, and as the game goes on. Those uh, shorter runs are getting longer and wearing defenses down, and, and, and that's the plan. So we got to keep building off that and continue doing that because I think it's putting us in you know, good situations to win. Do you get a sense that you guys have improved a lot since last year up front? Absolutely. Yeah, I think just um, the film speaks for itself, and um, the numbers we're putting up rushing. It's not easy, but we put in the work, and uh, we're definitely seeing some of those results. There's still a lot of room for improvement. Um, we still have that mindset. so. 
you know, there's going to be a huge challenge this weekend. So we're excited, but, um, you know, we're going to take that same approach and the attitude we have where, you know, there's no, shor no shortcuts. We have to put the work in and, you know, be ready to go out there and execute against a good defense. First question about the challenge this weekend. When you have an all-pro rusher potentially out for the game, does that change your game plan at all? I mean, I'm preparing like he's playing. So um, he's a really good player. He deserves all the respect and um, attention he gets. And, you know, I'm... You know, at this point, acting like he's playing, and we'll see how it goes. But um, we got to be ready. They, they have a lot of good players, and obviously they have Clowney on the other side too, who's a really good player. Been doing it for a long time, and um, you know we got to have a plan. And you know, I thought today was a good start to that. So we'll keep building on that, and we're going to be, you know, feeling confident and ready to go. Like I said, against a good front. And how much do you feel like this game's kind of going to be decided um, at the line of scrimmage? In a lot of ways, I feel like most games kind of are. Um, if we don't do our job up front, nothing's going to work or get set up so uh, we take a lot of pride in that as a group and um, you know I just being this earlier in the week I think you know there's still a lot we still got to put in and get prepared for but you know every week we kind of make that emphasis it, it's on us to help this offense you know get going. When did you, oh, go ahead. When did you first become aware of Miles Garrett? I know you're both Aggies I don't know if you're a big college football recruiting guy or <laughs> do you follow Aggies recruiting but when did well, um, my younger brother was still there playing right after I left, so I was always watching their games, and I watched them as a true freshman, so I've been watching them for a while, and um, like I said earlier, he's consistently been you know, one of the best players for a long time, so um, yeah, we got to account for him. He, you know, we, we're going to have a good matchup, and it'll be a good battle this Sunday. What was your first thought seeing him as a college freshman? He didn't look like a college freshman. No, college very, freshman. yeah, very... Um, <laughs> Very blessed with the, the, the body he has. He's, he's a freak. So he, he's a good player, like I said. So we got to have a good plan. And, you know, we're, we're, you know we feel like we got a good front, too. So it'll be a good battle. But, you know, we're getting, we're getting ready. For Daryl Patterson being NFC Offensive Player of the Week, how exciting is it to, A, have him a part of this offense and watch what he does each and every week? Yeah, you love to just watch the way he runs and finishes. Um, that motivates us as a front, you know, that we got to give him opportunities to get out in open field because he, he's devastating when he gets out there. He's a good player. So, um, you know, we take pride in that. Like I was saying earlier, we we got to find, you know, opportunities and give him holes where he can get downfield because he's proved time and time again, you know, what he's capable of. Does it kind of fire you up at all or just give you some pride just in the way he's running, the, the style like you were mentioning, kind of downhill running style, the way he's finishing his runs of power like that? Yeah, no, it definitely inspires me. I mean, um, you see any of your teammates, you know, putting it all out there like that, it makes you want to play harder too. So um, I'll, I'll just say I'm glad he's on my team. He, he's looked really good.